So for this question 19, we are asked to find the sum of the expression. It would be good if we can write it in an algebraic form. So this can be written as the summation, the square root of, a square of some numbers. And for the first number is always of the square 9, uh, 19, 29, 39, and so on and so forth until 639. So it is 10 minus 1, 20 minus 1, 30 minus 1, and so on and so forth. So it is 10k minus 1, where k equals 1 until 64. And for the second term, it is always 20 minus 1, 40 minus 1, 60 minus 1. So it is 20k minus 1. We can check the final term. It is equals to 1280 minus 1. That is 1279. So we can expand this. You will have 100k squared. Uh, two times the first term and the second term is 20k. So it will cancel off. And plus 1, minus 1 will cancel off. And this is what we have. So square root of 100k squared, it is equal to 10 of k. So it is now equals to 10 multiplied with 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 64. And we know very well that this is equal to 9 over 2 times n plus 1. This will be 32. 32 times 65, 2080. Zero, so this is the answer for the question. Importantly, we have to be able to write this into this form and simplify it. 22, the sum of the expression equals to m over n, where this is in the simplest form. Or we say the GCD of mn equals to 1. We are asked to find the value of m plus n. is a standard question in Math Olympiad. First note that for each of the term, it is possible to be written as 1 over k, k plus 1, k plus 2. And if we consider 1 over k, k plus 1, minus 1 over k plus 1, k plus 2, if we combine this, we need to have k plus 2, k plus 2. We need to have k, k k plus 2 minus k will give you 2. But this is 1, so it should be a half of this. 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 equals to half of 1 over 1 times 2 minus 1 over 2 times 3. Similarly, 1 over 2, 3, 4 equals to half 1 over 2, 3 minus 1 over 3, 4. And so and so forth. And 1 over 99 100, 101 equals to half 1 over 99 times 100 minus 1 over 100 minus 101. When we sum up every terms in the right hand side, we will have m over n. And for the right hand side, it is half, and you can see that most of the term can be cancelled. And we left with 1 over 1 and 2 minus 1 over 100 and 101. I'll continue here. So for this term here, it is equal to half 100 times 101, uh, 50 times 101 minus 1. So this is half 10100, and this is 5050 minus 1. 5049. Therefore, it is 5049 over 20200. Note that this is in the simplest form, and therefore m equals to 5049 and equals to 20200. And therefore the sum equals to 25249. So that's the answer for question 22.